Okay, we have a blank number line here. I'm going to put our origin, our zero point here. We have a addition problem with integers. We have a 7, which is a positive integer, plus a negative 4 negative integer. Our answer is going to be 3. I'm going to explain how before I write it in. So let's count up 7. So to the right of us is positive, to the right of our 0, and to the left is negative. We're going to count, find our highest point, which is our 7. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, we're starting here. We're going to add a negative 4. So we're going to go backwards 4. Negative 4 would be on the left side. So just to show you. So we're going to be moving left because we're adding a negative. So we're going to be moving towards the negative side. We're moving towards the negative side four spots. One, two, three, four. So we end up here for a answer of three. So that's one basic way to use your number line. Okay. All right, so back to our blank number line here. We have another problem we're going to work with. We're going to use the same numbers. Okay, this time we're going to add two negative integers. So we have a negative 7 integer and a negative 4 integer. I'm going to place my origin a little over to the right. That way I have more room on the left side because I know this is going to be a little bit. Remember, I still hope I have enough lines. So my highest value is actually the negative 4, but we're going to go with the negative 7. We're going to go the farthest left as we can. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 here. So negative 7. We are starting at this point. Let's see if I can fit this in here. Okay. So. What do you do when you have a negative integer and you're adding a negative integer? Well, you're adding a negative. Remember, our negative is on the left, positive is on the right. So if you're going to, you're on the negative and you're going to add a negative, you're going to go farther left, farther to the negative side. So we have four spots. We're going to go one, two, three, four. So that would end up being negative 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. So we end up with negative 11. Right, our third number line here is going to be used for the other method you see here. I don't think we need to do our basic positive integer plus positive integer. We can do that. So we're going to start out with our 0 right in the middle here. And we're going to go with a negative 4, negative integer, plus a positive integer. Because that's the only method or um, problem type we have the same. Let me rewrite this real quick. Okay, so my 0. So we're going to start at our lowest value because you're reading left to right. So we're going to go left to right here. Remember, negatives on the left of our 0, positives on the right of our 0. So we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Okay. So we're going to add a positive 7. We're starting off here. We're going to add a positive 7. Positive 7, positive is on the right, so we're going to go right with it. We're going to go towards the 0 or past the 0, in this case past the 0, because our positive number is bigger than our negative number. So we're going to add 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven. So we're going to end up at a positive three. So this is how a number line can come in handy for you. Uh, it is a great tool to use if you don't know. If you think it's too easy, that's fine. It's great to double check your work nonetheless. I suggest we get used to them. Learn how to do them quickly, uh, clearly, because 
this here is not really that clear. I'm working with a small area here. So we need to make sure we get this down, understand it. And any time you can come back and look at these videos, look at our integer notes, and we will move on to subtraction next.